Page nine, Shoe Shaggy. Scottish melody. I like Scottish music. Let's look this over. I'm going to go through the routine I used to learn a piece of music and we'll review things as we go along. I see this one is two lines long. We have the clef signs, treble and bass clef. The time signature now is 2-4. So the top number is a 2. So there's only two counts in a measure now, but we're still counting quarter notes. So there's the same as two quarter notes in every measure. And you look through it and you can see uh, there's either two quarter notes or a half note or whatever. Nah, that's fine. So I want to go through first and can I play the notes okay? And do the play it and say it drill again until you're comfortable with these notes. You want third finger on the E. You need to know that first, the bottom line on treble clef is an E. Memorize that. E. Third finger here, that puts the hand here, which is still in C position. So it's E, D, C, E, E, D, G, G, E, E, D, D, C. So I go through and I say the name of the note and play it. You don't have to go that fast. You do it at your speed or whatever. We're just drilling ourselves, reviewing the names of these notes in the music. Once I know the names of them and do that okay, then I'll go ahead and play them and do the counting. Here, remember half note gets two counts because it's the same as two quarter notes. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. You get the idea? I have the counting in there for you. Music, as I said before, doesn't put in counting for you. You're supposed to know how to count. And I might mention also on this counting, you're only counting at the beginning when you're learning it to get the rhythm. Once you have the rhythm, you know what it is. You don't count it anymore. You feel the rhythm. I'm going to talk a lot about feeling in music because we do a lot of feeling in music. Part of the nature of the beast. But... At first, it's mechanical, and then we get into the feeling part. So you feel this rhythm. And once I have the notes and the rhythm okay, then I'll think about the speed. How fast am I going to play this? Well, they have the word up above the, at the beginning is andantino. It's another Italian word. I don't care for the word myself, but there it is. And the reason I don't care for it is because it's one of those things that people don't agree on in music. There is a lot of stuff people do not agree on in music. It's just, I mean, you talk to one person and it's this, and you talk to another person and it's, no, it's this, and andantino is one of those things. There's another Italian word for andante. And andante, to me, well, you look up above, you see moderato. Moderato was in the middle. To me, a moderato is kind of like a, you're, you're walking someplace and you know where you're going. You're not in a hurry to get there, but you know where you're going. One to, you're taking the steps and you're going someplace. Well, an andante is where you're walking, but you're just kind of strolling along. You don't know where you're going. You're just going for a walk. One, two, one, two. Andantino is near andante. And because all of these are arranged and they overlap, to me, I, when I see andantino, I just think andante. Just somewhere. Some people will say Andantino is a little faster than Andante, and other people will say no, it's a little slower than Andante. That's why I don't like the word. I just go Andante, forget it, because it's it's all a felt range, whatever. It's not. So to me, it's just about one, two, just a stroll, just a leisure stroll on how fast we're going to go. To me, that's good enough for now. Your Andantino may be a little different than that. That's okay. So you go through and you learn it. Get to where you can play it without any hesitations. And you can play this without looking at the keyboard. And when you feel you're ready, come back to the video to the play with me. Let's play it together slowly. This is just to check you have the right notes and rhythms. There's only two counts in a measure, so I'm only going to give us two counts. I'm just going to go ready, go, and then we go. Ready, go. One, two. One, two. One, 
two. There's a duet part for this underneath there at the bottom of the page. I'd like to play that and you play what you just played. We're going to go about the same speed because that's really about as fast as it goes. I might speed it up just a hair. Now let's just play it together. Again, I'm only going to give us two counts though. Ready? Go!